welcome to another video. This is Traveling Solo Logs. And today I'm not traveling solo, I'm actually with my buddy here. Hey solo members, how is it going? Welcome and follow us on this trip. Yeah, so basically right now we're in the Philippines and we're in the Muslim district over here. Here you can see over here, it's called Muslim Town. And this, they have actually have the oldest and the biggest mosque in Manila. We just want to show you guys how it is and also how the district looks too. So let's go and let's see how it is. See over here that says Muslim Town? And let's walk straight. This is actually our first time here, which is awesome. We just, we just came here a few hours ago to meet up with a friend. But now the friend has left, so we just want to show you how it is. kind of reminds me of, I want to say, some place in India. Well, how would you say? Yeah, India, Mumbai yeah. or something. Yes. See people hang out their clothes, that's how they dry their clothes over there. Got some fresh watermelon. That's interesting, that vehicle over there. It's a tricycle. Yeah, it's a tricycle, he's fixing it. Well, it's a, a bicycle. Yeah, I don't know what you call that it, actually. It's a motorcycle with uh, a yeah. It's nice. This this stuff, I don't know what is this stuff. What is that stuff? What is this one? It's like onions? Yeah, I think it's onions. Let's let's carry on. Let's see what else. See over there on the right uh, is the mosque. It's called the Golden Mosque. And actually it was made in 1976 it was created for the Gaddafi, yeah for omar yeah Gaddafi, the he was the ex-president of libya and he actually did not come on this visit but since they already created the mosque they just you know kept it and it's been standing till t till today some nice uh band dab cafe we're gonna show you guys also some nice Filipino halal food over here, so stick with us. Stay with us. Stay put, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, let's see. Let's see what's over here. Land Ad Cafe. This is what they have. Empanada, tuna sandwich. Okay. Very nice. Little kids. Hello, kids. Hello. Hi. Little tuk tuk cars. This is definitely one of the most interesting places I saw where a mosque is. How about you? What did you yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... Wow. Hey, 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 you can't even describe it. <laughs> it's wow. This is the entrance. This is called uh, Manila Golden Mosque. And cultural center. Hello. It's a big dome, isn't it? Check it out. The dome of the masjid. Yeah, the dome is nice. Actually, the dome. I believe they want to repair it right now because if you see over there, there's a sign that says "want to repair" because look, it's golden, but unfortunately, because of years, the paint just you know came off. Yeah, you see this says office. Let me see, Republic of the Philippines office. Yeah, this is rehabilitation for the dome. So it looks like they want to rehabilitate it. And here's the mosque. So let's step inside and see how it is. All right. So before we get in the mosque, we got to take off our shoes. Okay. And this is the golden mosque. So, yes. so there's a lot of uh, people sleeping here. There's a lot of people sleeping here because I guess they just like to take breaks here. But it's very nice. And you can see every part of the mosque is wrapped with this golden lining it's nice material yeah and you can see over here this is where the, the top is where the dome is right here and you can see all the windows over here very nice and beautiful the architecture Here's where the Imam or the leader of the mosque would do his Friday prayers. 
or anytime when they pray, the leader would be in front. That's where he would pray. And everyone would be behind him over here. Over here is where they change the time. I believe it's not electronic. They actually just uh, push it themselves, which is interesting because other mosques around the world, it's all electronically done. So anytime when there's a prayer time, because every day the prayer time changes by a little bit. So that's why they have that. <laughs> have you ever seen that, like man-made? Like, usually it's think, electronic, right? I think, yeah, yeah, usually it's electronic. I think it's my first time seeing it like this. But it suits the area and the structure of the place. Definitely. Check this place out. Let's see, and then... Oh, it has no AC, but it has a lot of fans. Interesting. Right now, this is the winter, so it's actually not very hot, and it's beautiful weather in the Philippines. But I think if you come in the summer, we'd be sweating by now. Sure, 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 man. Because it's compact, basically. It's a compact area. Definitely. Well, you see here, over here, is the architecture is a little bit different. And over there in the back is where the lady is, yes. But unfortunately, I'm not a lady, so I can't show you. And I don't know if the ladies are without their hijab, which is the headscarf on. And maybe they'd feel uncomfortable if I was there to record them. So I just want to show you. This is the barrier for the ladies. Hello. How are you? Say hello. 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 What's your name? My name is Sania. Sania. What is your name? My, my name is Farmeda. Farmeda. OK. Hey, nice so to meet you. And he's Suleiman. Wow. Yeah, nice to meet you. Salam. Alaikum <laughs> salam. Alright, take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Salamat. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye. You can see over here they also have. Uh, this is. Oh, I see. This little kid is selling some. I'm okay, not right now. No, thank you. Over here is where they learn Arabic, which is very interesting. Right over here. I guess this is all their old carpet. Actually, this is the chapter of, of the Quran. It's from Surah Al-Ma'idah, which means the table. Okay, and it's like the whole verse of this uh, Quran. Okay, right, very nice. All right, let's carry on. Let's go. Let's go outside and check it out. Okay, now we're going to go outside and. We're going to show you more of the surrounding area. Is the brother reading some Quran? Yes. And it said that this mosque could hold, I believe, 2,200 people. Oh, yeah? Yes. Kind of big. A lot of the kids playing in the street, having some fun with each other. So I want to show you just around the mosque, like closer, like over there. I do need to put on my mask because coronavirus is still here and it's strong. So I gotta put on the mask. Awesome. Got your mask? Oh yeah, you already had the mask on from the beginning of the video. Sure, man. It's too polluted. Yeah. Here is the Islamic Center. Like the madrasa? Yeah, the madrasa is actually a place where kids learn Quran and Arabic. So that's where they go. It's as well as the ablution area. Yes, where they make wudu or ablution as he just said. And there's the bathrooms. But I, I don't think it's a little bit dirty inside. I don't think it's really it's nice. Yeah. Hey, so there's a mosque right now, right? Oh, look at the, you see the mural on the mosque? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like a mosaic design. Yeah. That's, that's actually really interesting. One of those motorcycle cars. So this is right on the side of the mosque. People live here and have some businesses. Little bald babies. Babies. Hello. Little kittens too. Wow, look at this, it has all different like colors. So interesting. It's definitely the most interesting place I've seen, like next to the mosque. Hello, sir. 
Alright. Hello. Oh, watch out. Oh, get the water. A lot of babies. Uh, this is the Islamic uh, school, school for, for, the, for, the, for the little females. Yeah, uh, for the daughters, for the females, for the. <coughs> That's interesting. Because, because it's always separated. Recording video. And then, then we're just gonna go around here. Excuse me. Alleyways are very slim. Hello. Hello. Some food over here. Eggs. I guess this is where like some people live over here too. Excuse me. A lot of cats on the street here too, right? Okay, so we just reached the front of the mosque now. And we're gonna continue on the road and then after that just show you more of the place and where to eat, where to find a place to eat. Action center. It's interesting. So yes, brother. Yes. So we put inside the mushroom. Yeah, inside. This is for security. Uh, the security is not so let's continue on the guy by the way I don't know if you guys just noticed he was asking for donations for the security I guess there's different donation boxes in the mosque for different things so that was a donation box for the security yeah they have a little store here selling like things for the the oh yeah, got rugs. got the rugs, Quran. some Quran. Salam alaikum. Yeah, we have some stuff I just got for the ladies too. Yes, we do. In, in. The kids are playing card over here. You see that? What are the kids playing? Let's take them out. It looks like they're playing Uno. Uno yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're playing Uno. Fourteen. Uh, <laughs> Hello. So let's go. Let's go to this place to check it out. So I guess we're gonna go back to this land depth place. I have to be careful when I walk, man. Filming and walking is and talking is a skill, definitely. Hello. All right, so we're just uh, right now. We're in the restaurant. It's a little bit noisy now because they're making us some nice shakes. So I just want to show you guys how the menu is. Well, here's the place right over here. Hello. He's gonna give water. It's okay. Hey, you be in it. Yeah. Thank you. He's gonna give us some nice water. So here, here's. Hi. Hello. <laughs> hello, guys. So this is the menu over here. Actually, the food is. A bit Malaysian, but you know, at least it's cooked by a Filipino. So I guess I can say this is Filipino food, right? It's cooked by a Filipino. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what the I menu looks like. Mix. I would say it's mixed Asian, Filipino, Malaysian. All right, so we just got the food now. I want to show you guys what we got. So we got the chicken masala, and that was for 85 Filipino pesos. We got this. It was some spring rolls. rolls. Spring rolls for 50 pesos, and that was for 100 pesos. And then we also got. A nice coconut drink over here, and then we have a nice watermelon drink. The meat, welcome. I'm always, I'm a chicken guy. I love to eat chicken. And here, this guy always loves beef, meat, beef, lamb. For me. If I eat chicken, it's always chicken. Yeah. Nice, man. The meat is well cooked. The flavor is nice. Alright, so we just finished the meal right now, you guys. So check it out. How was it? 
It was nice, very nice, a little bit spicy, but very tasty. Yeah. All right, so now time to pay for the bill and I'll show you guys how much it was. I met some nice people here. Salam. Salamat. <laughs> thank you guys for the food. It was very good, very yeah, tasty. Very good food. Yeah, thank you. Very nice. Thank you for appreciating our food. Yeah, I love it. I, I want to come here again just to try it out. Sure, sure. We will. Okay, let's see. Let's see how much. How much is the total? Let's see how much the total for this delicious meal. You see, only only three hundred and twelve. I'll put the dollar amount on the screen for you guys. So how much? Yeah, yeah. USD dollar. So expensive. <laughs> land land dump, and it's right next to the Golden Mosque in Manila, Philippines. So okay. if you ever coming to visit the mosque, make sure you come uh, have a lunch or a dinner from from Land Dump Cafe. It's gonna, you're gonna be happy. You're gonna be happy about it. Trust and remember, me. tell them that traveling solo Solomon has sent you guys. Okay, so anyone that comes here, they'll know how I sent them. <laughs> All right, so we're back on the street now. Got my mask back on. So let's continue. Show you guys a little bit more of this area, and then we'll continue on somewhere with some other videos. So let's go this way. Show them. A lot of cell phone accessories here. This is Islamic wear for the Philippines. And then, let's see, it's more uh, Muslim clothing for the women over here. It's interesting just to see the different types of designs and fashions. Another restaurant. So yeah, this was basically about it. There's a little bit more on in front of me and on my right. But this is basically the Muslim district area. This has uh, lots of halal food. Has nice people, great food for great prices as we just said. Also it's next to the mosque. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video too. And uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. Share it, like it. And let me know what kind of videos you want to see from the Philippines because we're going to be here for a while. And just let me know in the comments below. As always guys, be safe, take care, and enjoy traveling solo or with a buddy sometimes. See you soon. See you soon. Peace. Bye-bye. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Good, how are you? You're a blogger? Yes, I am.